When you first start work, working with Capture NX2, the best place to start is with the Workspace tab. The Workspace tab is located underneath the File option in the menu. Right below it, you will see the Workspace icon. Once you click on it, you will have four default workspaces, Browser, Metadata, Multipurpose, and Edit. When you click on the Browser workspace, you will have the option now to view your images in the thumbnail format. You can view large thumbnails as well as smaller thumbnails. To do that, you go to the right of the window, click on the triangle, drag it to the left side to decrease the size of your thumbnails, and drag it to the right to increase the size of your thumbnails. You can also view the location of your images on your hard drive in the folders palette. Once you have located the area that you want to edit, or the images that you want to edit in their folder, you can actually drag their folder up into the favorites, allowing you for easy access in the future of that folder. The next workspace is the metadata workspace. The metadata workspace allows you to see the date that the photo was shot, the date it was modified, the size, you can also organize it via the tabs above as well if you want to see the ratings, ascending or descending. You can also view file and camera information so you can see exactly what system was used to photograph that image. If you've inputted XMP IPTC information previously or if you want to add it now, you would do that in the I XMP IPTC information palette. The next workspace is the multi-purpose workspace. The multi-purpose workspace allows you to be able to open up an image inside of the editing window and then having the browser maintain open. This would allow you to be able to take the browser and put it onto an exterior monitor giving you more space to work in your editing window. If you have moved a palette inside of the editing window, you can redock it by clicking on the triangle just below the name of the palette, and that will redock the palette back to its original location. The final default working space is the edit window. And as you can see, the edit window closes down browsers and folder, and it leaves open your bird's eye view, your edit list, and your photo info. These are the three main palettes that you need when you're editing an image. You can now double click on the hand and that will bring up your image into a full screen view. Now if there's a certain style of workspace that you'd like to work with, such as getting rid of the browser and folders giving you more real estate to work with your images, and as you can see here in the edit list, we're starting to cut off our quick fix palettes. So we want to be able to see all of that. To do that, you would go to Window, Uncheck Browser, it disappears. Uncheck your bird's eye view, it disappears, revealing more of your edit list. And then unchecking your photo info. And now we can see the entire quick fix palette. And we even have room for adjustments as we start to adjust the image. Now once you have adjusted this workspace to your style, you can save it by going into your workspace tab. Going clicking save workspace. We're going to call this editing window yes I'm going to overwrite the last one I created and now I can go to the workspace tab click on my workspaces view editing window which is checked that is the current workspace that I'm working with I could also go and manage my workspaces when you manage your workspaces you have the capability of seeing the default workspace as well as your own workspace and you can create your own shortcut for that just by clicking on the tab below the shortcut name. Press OK. Now if we go to Alt 1, there's our browser workspace. And then Alt 5 is our editing workspace. This will allow you to navigate and find images quicker and easier so that your editing can become faster and more effective. Thanks for watching. My name is Terrence Campbell. Have a good day.